Hello, hello. Trying out this app one more time to see what these new features are like for Periscope. So Periscope has this new beta and it has a new feature which is clean the lens and it enables you to draw on the screen. So it's pretty funky. I don't know if you had a chance to see this yet, so let's try it out. So if I touch the screen and hold my finger down and then go sketch and then I can do things like this. I can circle things, I can underline things, I can change the color so I can highlight that there and I can do, oh, what other things can we do? We could imagine you could write on the screen and we can also pick the color of things that's on the screen so if we wanted to pick um, to highlight the color in that green. I touch the green up on the top right of the screen and then I can highlight things in the color from a dropper which is pretty cool and so if I'm looking if I was imagining in broadcasting and doing a story and stuff and there was things in the background or outside so this is outside my office window and there was something like a fire on the hill or something you know you could easily imagine highlighting whereabouts you're pointing to and talking about as you're reporting the news which is pretty cool uh, and I could say you can pick the colour from the object, so I just pick that red from that house and I can highlight the same colours, which is pretty neat. Um, I did think that you could do it in, you could highlight in different thicknesses of line, but I don't think you can, so, um, so it's pretty neat. Um, but I can imagine lots of the broadcasters and media publishers are going to have fun with this because you can imagine if there's a story that's out there that's really big and there's things going on in the background, lots of context to set, lots of things to point out, and it's harder to describe the location of things when you're writing and reporting. You could easily just sort of um, refer to the fact that there's over there, right now behind me, there's this going on, and there's over here, there's so and so is doing this. So it could become quite useful. Um, the question is now whether um, it will come out and everyone will get access to play with it. Um, at the moment, I'm just being silly and just doing anything I want. Uh, I can just do like X's and circles and all sorts of random unuseful things, but I'm sure once it gets into the right hand, that this will become pretty neat. So anyway, I just thought I'd have another little play just to see if there was anything new I can do with the tool. But for now, that is it from me.